the series is divided into two types okay the first one we called it as the verbal series and the second one we called it as the non verbal series verbal and non verbal series okay verbal and non verbal series okay further the verbal and non verbal series is divided into many types verbal is divided into three types the first one we called it as the number series second one we called it as the alphabet series and the third one we called it as a alpha numeric series we called it as the alpha numeric series okay now number series where the numbers are there for an example let's take an example there 2 comma uh, 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma what will be the next term there beta very good 10 will be the next term how we are observing the logic there from 2 to 4 that is plus 2 from 4 to 6 again we are having plus 2 there now 6 to 8 that is plus 2 so 8 to the next one that is plus 2 so 8 plus 2 10 so 10 will be the correct answer so basically what we are doing we are observing the logics which are hidden there okay same way in the alphabetical series for an example a comma c e g what will be the next term there i very good i will be the next term how from a to c what i am observing leaving one alphabet b in between from c to e we are leaving one alphabet d in between e to g we are leaving one alphabet f in between now g to next one g leaving h we are getting i so i will be your correct answer okay that is an alphabetical series alpha numeric the combination of both the series okay means what examiner will do examiner will add these two series okay they will combine these two series so we are having one series which is having the two different logics for an example when we combine these two these two series it will become a comma 2 comma c comma 4 comma e comma 6 comma g comma 8 comma question mark comma question mark can you answer it very good shabash i and 10 i and 10 is a correct answer how we are observing it the logic will be alphabetical logic is different and the numerical logic will be different okay now a to c we are leaving one b in between c to e we are leaving d in between e to g we are leaving f in between so f uh, sorry g h i will be there in the same way 2 4 6 8 so 10 will be there so i 10 will be your correct answer are you getting it yes or no i think you all are familiar now you all are familiar about it that basically what we are doing in this topic that is verbal series okay now for the non verbal series what is a non verbal series non verbal means the diagram based series or we call it as the figure based series okay where the diagram or the figure is there for an example a arrow will looks like this okay this is the first one then it will looks like this then like this then can anybody tell me that where the arrow will point at the last one very good the arrow will point towards the left side how you can observe it what is happening to the arrow the arrow is rotating in the clockwise direction and making an angle of 90 degree it is rotating in clockwise and in every step it is making an angle of 90 degree there okay so this is a non verbal type of series where we will learn the diagrammatic part or the figure part there. clear beta yes or no clear can i move to the next one okay 
now moving forward let's take some theoretical part there first and the important thing the introduction part of the number series okay what we are doing basically in today's class we will do the number series okay in today class we will do the number series in the next class also same thing we will do the number series but we will practice the question next to next class we will do the alphabet series and alpha numeric series in the combined combined class okay the two things in a single class then next to it we will do the non verbal series okay so this series will take four lectures minimum four lecture we can increase it okay by practicing the things which are there is it clear yes or theek hai chal let's start with this the first one the introduction part the first one the introduction part of the number series as we are doing the number series in today's class so the number series is an arrangement of numbers okay number series is the arrangement of number in a certain order certain order means we we have to find the logics behind the series okay we have to observe the logics which are hidden there okay where some numbers are wrongly put into the series and some numbers is missing in that series means two types of questions will be there the first one is the the first one is the wrong number wrong term in the series where we have to find a wrong term there and the second one where we have to find a missing term there missing term so we are having the two types of questions there okay missing term at we have observed the previous one okay we have observed it where the question mark is written there so we have to find a missing term there now what is the wrong term for an example 2 comma 4 comma 7 comma 8 comma 10 so can you give me that which term is wrong very good seven is the wrong term there okay seven is the wrong term there how by observing the logic 2 to 4 this is plus 2 8 to 10 that is also plus 2 so the logic will remain same so 4 to the next one it should be 6 and 6 plus 2 it should be 8 okay so seven is the wrong term there six is the correct term okay these are the types of questions which comes in the wrong term types there is it clear yes or no okay missing term same thing which we have learned today in the previous one where some terms are missing we have to find those missing terms okay we need to observe and find the accurate number to the series of the number okay we have to find that number which is missing or the term which is wrong there okay so basically what we are doing in both the things that we are finding the logics which are there which are hidden there we have to observe it okay so these are the basic of the series 